Good day viewers, uh, just an update, uh, I have been a bit uh, slack lately with uploading videos, it's, uh, I've been quite busy, and it's very warm here and humid in Auckland at the moment, so uh, yeah, I've been a bit uh, slack, sorry about that. Um, I'd like to acknowledge all the new subscribers, I've got uh, quite a few new subscribers on my channel, and uh, yeah, your support is really appreciated. Um, I'm doing some... Uh, Stuffing around with some meters. I've got my rotary converter. I'm testing that out. Actually, I've got too many projects on the go at this stage. Um, I'll give you an update on the rotary converter and a couple of faulty lamps I found. Here we have a metal halide. Um, it doesn't seem to work on the igniter circuit. It's got an E40 fitting on it. Then I've got another sodium. That's a double sodium capsule. I uh, haven't tested it yet, but it's got quite a lot of uh, get the seem to have triggered in the capsule, so it's faulty. And this one I found, but just for interesting purposes, it's broken. The support which holds the tube in place is just broken, so that won't work. I've tidied up my uh, rotary converter module. Um, Delta start to get 240 in, and then uh, start to get 400 uh, horror meter. Bowser frequency meter analog, uh, M meter, power factor meter, frequency meter with read contacts, and three voltmeters. Reactivate the device and see what happens. So I've got it activated. We're sitting on two times about 220, 240 volts, and we switch it over to delta. I'm going straight up to 400 and it works well. Power factor is even leading. A couple of capacitors sitting at the motor. So I got uh, filament lamps here, another Hora meter, and LED lamps. So we'll just de energize the device and see how the lamps perform. And uh, yeah, just have a look. That's two phase in and up to three phase. Show the one on the voltmeters here. Start. Go up to delta. So that's the rotary uh, control module. Uh, more videos will follow with this uh, setup. I'm still experimenting with things. Oh, I've got a capacitor start indicator too, of course. And an on off, that's for the output. The motor here is wired up in uh, six wires, star delta, with uh, two excitation capacitors of 8 microfarad, 660 volts. I need to have a massive clean up. Uh, I've got the control device sitting here on my workbench and I'll go around here and the motor sits in the garage on the left of that uh, pink door. Uh, I can't even see the cable that goes off the floor there somewhere. That is the control box and the cable runs through here, comes out. Pretty rough, that's the style. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to sort out, just uh, not enough time.
the meter at the start of the video is an AEG MDI meter T2 CM and a whole lot of numbers um, I'll make a proper video of that, it's quite an interesting meter uh, the MDI is externally reset, the red dial just falls back and I click it in the 2 8 meter on full scale at this stage so yeah so European meter ok de energize device start device de-energized device. Thanks for watching.